Dear viewers, in this video, we will learn about the method of pinning insects. There is a methodology of how to pin insects and to preserve them. So today we are going to learn about the methodology of pinning of insects and also how to make an entomology pin. Let's get into the video now. These are the pins which are used for pinning the insects. They are English pins, continental pins and minutin pins. English pins and continental pins are actually made out of stainless steel or black steel. They are long lasting. It reduces the rust and gives better preservation results. The sizes of them ranges from 0 to 7. These pins are said to be pins which are made out of stainless steel and it has a nickel head. Size 0 for small insects or butterflies, size 2 for general use and size 4 for larger insects. On the other hand, the minute pins are headless pins ranging from 10 to 15 mm in size. They are also made out of stainless steel and they are used for pinning very tiny insects used for double mounting. So these are the pins that we see now in the picture the continental pins and the minutin pins. Let's look into the procedure of making an entomology pin. Since the continental and the English pins are pretty costly, we can make our own entomology pins. The ear of the sewing needle is shown in a candle flame and fixed on to an ordinary plastic bead. This makes a perfect entomology pin ranging in different sizes depending upon the size of the sewing needle. This is the praying mantis which belongs to the order Mantoidea and we need to pin the insect in the thoracic region. This is how the insect is pinned and you can see the legs of the praying mantis in a praying position and it is placed on the board. This insect is called the giant water bug and it belongs to the order Hemiptera. It has a V-shaped scutellum in the thoracic region and the pin is inserted slightly towards the right of the thoracic region through the scutellum and it is pinned on the bone. This is called the painted grasshopper. The painted grasshopper belongs to the order Orthoptera and you can see the thoracic region and the pin is inserted slightly towards the right side of the thoracic segment which is the prothorax and that is how these painted grasshoppers are pinned. This butterfly is called the common crow. It belongs to the order Lepidoptera. Butterflies are very flimsy and they are soft bodied insects and they are pinned right in the center of their thoracic region. This is the dragonfly and it belongs to the order Odonata. Dragonflies have a very slender abdomen and they also have a slightly broader thoracic region and the pin is inserted in the thoracic segment and that is how the dragonflies are pinned. This insect is called the rhinoceros beetle because this has a horn like that of a rhinoceros and it has a very thick exoskeleton and you have the right side and the left side of the exoskeleton which is called as the elytra and the pin is inserted on the right elytra of the beetle.
This insect is the cicada and it belongs to the order Hemiptera. It also has a V-shaped scutellum in the thoracic region and it is pinned slightly towards the right of the thoracic segment. This is a carpenter bee and it belongs to the order Hymenoptera. It also has a thoracic region and an abdominal region and the pin is inserted slightly towards the right of the thoracic segment. This insect is called the red palm weevil. Weevils have a snout and they also belong to the order Coleoptera and they have a very hard exoskeleton and it is called as the elytra and the weevils which also belongs to the same order of that of the beetles are pinned in their right elytra. Thank you for watching. My next video will be on the labeling of insects and the spreading of wings of the butterflies and the dragonflies. Do like and subscribe.